everyone, welcome back. I'm glad you're here with me today. I have a cute little mani that I'm gonna do for you using some Bombshell Nail Co products. Um, I'm gonna use two dips that I have actually had in my vault for a while and just haven't had the chance to use yet. But when she sent me these gorgeous dragonfly nail decals, I knew that I had to get them on my nails and I went through my Bombshell colors and I found these the first one is this beautiful almost not there blue and this gorgeous purple uh i don't i don't know how to explain it it's called freckled fairies and the blue is sweet carolina um i'm going to start with the blue now if you see my pinky there i had actually dipped some blue um, onto my pinky, forgetting what order I was doing things in. So I just kind of wiped it off. The stuff that is left around my cuticle, I'm gonna just dip over, you're not even gonna notice it. So I just didn't wanna have to redo my, um, my peel base. So I just wiped off what was still wet in the left. I just, the left, I, what? The rest I just left. <laughs> oh boy. So that's what I'm doing. I'm dipping out the light blue first. This is Sweet Carolina. Um, Sweet Carolina is a very, um, really nice light blue. It's perfect for applying decals over because it has a tint of blue, but it's so light that all the details of your decals will show over it. Uh, so I love that about this color. Um, the only struggle that I had with Sweet Carolina was that it must have been sitting in my drawer untouched for a while because some of the powder kind of clumped and I had to do a lot of stirring and mixing to get it um, mixed up, I guess. I don't know. I just had a little bit of trouble with um, some of the pigment clumping together and but it worked out and it's not at all noticeable in the final product of this mani, so it really is not an issue at all. Um, and then after I'm done dipping out Sweet Carolina, I'm gonna go in with two dips of Freckled Fairy. Now, I love Freckled Fairy for many reasons. Um, it has a lot going on, so it's a beautiful purple. It also has some glitter in there, but the other thing that it has, and I'm assuming that this is why um, Leanne named it Freckle Fairy, is that um, the way that she mixed the pigments, uh, some of the coloring is produced by um, pigment that is in there that's darker than the base pigment. I don't really know how to explain it. I've seen it done with other speckled dip powders where they add the pigment, but it's not 100% combined so that when you dip into it, there are some darker spots. Um, I think I've seen that with... Um, oh, who was it? Dipped in Sparkles had a... A, a collection maybe it was a year or two ago of speckled dips and it was the same kind of effect and I'll tell you I absolutely love the way it looks um and you'll see that in the final photo but um yeah it's a really cool effect and I'm not really sure how they do it it's kind of this dip magic thing um but I can appreciate it so freckled fairy is going to be um the last color that I'm going to do full dips of and then on my middle finger I am going to do a color block but first I'm going to encapsulate my other nails in clear so I will finish that up and when I come back we'll talk about color blocking.
All right, if you've been around for a while and you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you have probably seen me do some simple color blocking before. Um, this is my favorite tape to use for color blocking. It sticks really well and it is easy to remove. Before I got started with this, I did apply a layer of dip base over my peel base and that is to protect my peel base from peeling up when I pull the um, tape off after I finish laying down my dip powder. I know some and prefer to put a layer of clear dip powder down, activate that, buff it smooth, and then do their color blocking over that. I feel like that is A, too time consuming for my purposes, and B, I just think that that makes the nail a bit too thick. I prefer to keep my nails fairly thin. But again, that's just my preference and you can do it whichever way works best for you. They are your nails. Um, so I, I'm just fiddling with the tape to make sure that it's uh, laid out fairly similarly to my right hand. I don't expect them to be exactly matching, although I do prefer to get them as similar as possible. So now that I have the... Um, now that I have the tape laid out the way I want it, I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply the light blue first. Now, in retrospect, I might have tried to figure out a way to do the purple first um, because I did not love the fact that the purple pigment kind of stained the light blue. Um, I tried to be extremely careful, but it was almost impossible to avoid. Um, but I couldn't figure out a way to set the tape up so that it um, worked the other way around. But I may experiment with that on a swatch stick later. I did not do any practice runs on this. I just kind of went in and did it. And this is how it worked out for me. I definitely would not say that it was a fail, just that I think I would have made life a lot easier for myself if I had figured out a way to block it out so that I could do the purple first. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna finish this up. Um, when I am done applying Sweet Carolina, I am going to remove the tape and I am going to use a metal nail file to straighten out some of the lines a little bit before I go in and apply Speckled Fairy to the other parts of my nail. I'm not gonna talk you through it. I'm gonna let you just watch. If I feel like there's anything I need to explain, I will hop back in. In the meantime, just kind of zone out and watch me work.
All right, now that um, my color blocking is done and those lines are as straight as I can get them, I'm going to encapsulate in clear and then I'm going to activate everything. Um, once everything's activated and cured, I am going to file and shape everything off camera. When I come back, we're gonna do some fun water slides. Now that everything is all shaped and ready for decal application, I did debate a few minutes about applying one of those gorgeous uh, nail wraps that come with the set, but I was just kind of obsessed uh, with the dragonflies. I just thought that they were really pretty. So I decided to keep it a little more simple and I'm going to apply a dragonfly on my ring finger that has Sweet Carolina on it. And then I'm going to also apply a smaller dragonfly on my thumb. And then I will apply one of the little flowers, which I think is like a dandelion, on the actual, the light blue part of my, um, of my color block. I just thought I'd be a little bit different and throw a decal on there too. And I kind of love the way that that um, color block and the way it just kind of draws the eye to the ring finger. I, I just, I like the way it came out. So that's what we're doing here. I'm um, actually, I am dropping my decals into some water and then putting them on my jelly stamper like I usually do. Makes it a lot easier to see where I am placing the decals. So here's the one that's going on my thumb. So I'm going to do the same exact process for the other two decals. And once they're all applied, I'm going to apply a coat of uh, no smudge top coat. Oh, I forgot to mention that before I applied each of these decals, I did apply some sticky base coat to help them adhere to my nail. And that's just a personal preference. Some people use it, some people don't. I prefer to use it. And then because I do use dip liquids, I do use a dip top coat i do apply um, the smudge free top coat to protect the decal from the activator okay because if you don't encapsulate those decals somehow um, you will risk smudging or disintegrating <laughs> the decals so um, i prefer to use smudge free top coat it works great for me um, and then i can activate on top of that and top coat with my dip top coat which you will see me do um, I'm not going to talk you through that because I think it's pretty self-explanatory you can just watch um, if you have any questions about the process feel free to ask me down in the comments below um, and I am going to oh I forgot to mention I'm going to apply some um, striping stickers to that color block as well before I apply the smudge free top coat so but um, I've done this a few times in my videos. I can link some up in the cards for y'all if you want me to go through the steps with you. Um, you can watch those videos. So uh, when I come back, we're gonna have um, final thoughts. We're gonna wrap everything up and do some cuticle oil and I'll see you in a few minutes.
we are final product and I am actually really happy with the way this came out um, those those dragonflies are just so pretty I mean bombshell you don't you may not realize this but they carry a ton of really cute decals on their website so go check those out um, I do have a discount slash affiliate code down in my link tree in my description box so if you do want to go check them out make sure you use my code you'll get a discount um and i do get a little tiny bit of a um, commission if you use my code so if you do thank you very much i appreciate you um I am extremely happy with these. I hope you enjoyed watching and that you'll come and hang out with me again sometime while I do my nails. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when my uploads are available. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.